we have donkeys. Welcome to day 19 of our trip. We are in Death Valley National Park. We just left Las Vegas or Henderson where we basically stayed in our, our hotel the entire time and did nothing Vegas-y. Um, got a lot of work done and did a lot of cleaning of ourselves and our stuff and did some cooking. We stayed at a hotel that had a small kitchenette so we were able to do some food prep for this next coming section. Death Valley um, is really, really hot. I know it was hot last week when we were in Zion, but Death Valley is like really, really hot. It was 120 degrees when we were in the valley earlier today, um, but we are not camping in the valley because we do have some sense about us. So we are actually up at a campsite called Mahogany Flats. Uh, it's pretty crowded, actually. There's 10 sites up here, and I feel like they're pretty much all full at this point. Um, but the campsite is located at 8,200 feet above sea level. And so the valley itself is basically at sea level. Um, so we got to watch the temperatures drop as we came up the road. It dropped from 120 to 89. So <laughs> we have never been happier to be in 89 degrees. And with the shade from a few trees up here and the shade from our car, we're actually pretty comfortable. Tomorrow morning, we are going to start as early as we can see to climb up Telescope Peak, which is the highest point in Death Valley. It's about 11,000 feet high, and we're coming from 8,200 or 8,300. So it's a 3,000 foot climb over seven miles. Not too bad, um, but we want to get an early start to try to avoid the heat, because even though we're up high, we know that the sun is going to start to bake us. Um, and then we have a long drive after that because we're headed further north in California. So this is the view from our campsite up at Mahogany Flats. That is Badwater Basin, right way down in the valley. Um, so that's the place in Death Valley that's below sea level, just about 300 feet below sea level. That's where it's 120 degrees. And then up here, it's just probably about 85 degrees by now. Um, pretty wild how different it is. <laughs> Hey, we think we have spotted the peak of where we are headed. This is it. Right there. Pretty sure that's Telescope Peak. And we still have a little over four miles and 1,600 feet of elevation to go to get up on it. So this is actually a bristlecone tree, one of the oldest um, trees or plants on the planet. They only grow on the very highest slopes of mountains in the southwest. You can find them here. We saw a few really rough looking ones in Bryce and you can also find them in Great Basin National Park. Well, we made it up to and back down, partially down from Telescope Peak. We did not have the summit to ourselves, so I didn't want to bust the camera out and do any recording, but um, it was really pretty. Um, the hike's a little bit shorter than the Park Service says. The sign says seven miles, but it just was six and a quarter to get up there. And I got to put my puffy coat on for a few minutes. Probably could have gotten by without it, but it was nice to have something a little bit warm because it was breezy up there at the top. Um, so we're pretty solidly on our way back down to the car. We, we heard that yesterday, one of the couples that was camping near us did the whole thing in six hours. 
And so now we have a little bit of a goal. We'll see if we're able to accomplish it. We made it up to the top in three hours and three minutes. And that actually includes about a five minute break for sitting. So chances are we'll be pretty good on the way back down. Well, we're done with our hike. We finished it in five hours and 40 minutes, door to door. Um, up at the top, I think I mentioned that we ran into a couple of hikers who had said last night that these two young, younger 20 something guys had done it in six hours. And we were like uh, pretty determined to try to beat that time. Um, no, no competitiveness here, none at all. Um, it's still 77 up here, up high in the mountains. Definitely gonna get hotter today, but we're thankful that it's not brutal. And we are cleaned up and on our way back down the mountain. And one of the places that we didn't stop yesterday because it was so hot is the charcoal kilns. So there's these really cool structures. I guess they used to fire charcoal, I don't know. Something like that. I, I said I assumed that they're for charcoal burning. Okay, I found the sign. It says the kilns were built in 1877 and they produced charcoal for the Modoc mine smelter about 20 miles away. Workers would fill the kilns with pinion pine logs. Those are like the short little trees we're seeing everywhere around here. And then fire them, to which would reduce the wood to charcoal in six to eight days. It then took five days for them to cool the charcoal and then they would haul it over where it was used to extract silver and lead for mining companies.